What's up everybody, this is Piston2x here and I'm bringing you my latest installment of my series TDM Strategies. Um, this one is on launch and I'm using the G11 with no attachments because the attachments on the G11 suck. Per quantum I'm using his flak jacket, I'm using steady aim because the G11 is really good hit firing and steady aim makes it even better. And then once again, perk 3 hacker, secondary python dual wields, and equipment motion sensor. Also if you're wondering, I use some text and flashbang, but that's more personal preference than, you know, necessarily good. But anyway, let's get into the gameplay a little bit. Um, I start out here, <coughs> I always, uh, always on launch, I always move to the right in the beginning. I've tried going to the left side of the map, but you really don't get too much action down there, and there's a lot more going on here on the on the right, and it can get you get kills quick, build up your kill streaks quick. I always move up, go up this ladder here, and, you know, I usually end up backing down really quickly because there's always just crowd with people there. Knife that guy there. <clears throat> but uh, go off the ladder there. It, it does. It is a good spot, but they can shoot through that the that wood really easily. It's not great cover, so I I suggest don't go up there. You know, don't plan on staying up there for a long time. But if you need to get a few quick kills, because you know that they're on the other side of the map there, then you know it gives you a good view. Um, I end up going 30 and 4, 37 and 4 in this match here. Um, I know it's not like a super high KD, super great game, but Honestly, I don't care. It's 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 a, it's a good game. It's decent, and it gives you guys some great gameplay to watch, and it gets you lets you guys see what I do on launch. All right, here is a spot that I found has worked great. I, I for a while here, I haven't really had a great strategy for launch, but um, going up on the this rail car here, they're going up on the ladders. It, it works great. <clears throat> it provides you great cover, to, and uh, depending on what spot side of the map they're spawning. Use the rails there for cover, and you can see right down those alleyways there. I think I do it here in a second. But, yeah, you can see right down the alleyways there, left and right, depending on which way they're spawning. Either way, you got great cover, and they really can't see you. Maybe can only see the tip of your hat. That's about it. And, uh, oh, wait, oh, just a second. Oh, crap. I think I just sharded. Just a second. Let me check. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're good. We're good. All right. All right, back to the gameplay here. Um... Yeah, see right here is what I'm doing is what I'm talking about, what I just did there, and you know you got you got to watch your back, <coughs> you got to watch your back there because they are gonna try and push the other way there too, and um, yeah, I think right here I die, yeah I do. I see right there. I mean I probably didn't put enough burst into the guy, but at the same time, I mean this is theater mode, but in the game I was aiming right at that guy and put two bursts into him. But see this is what I want to talk about. I'm gonna try not to complain too much about this, but. I seem it's like in Call of Duty Black Ops have way more problems than any other Call of Duty games in terms of bullets not registering. Like if I have my red dot right on them or my, you know, my sights right on them and I'm shooting at them, I expect the bullets to hit them. And it seems like in this game, I don't know. I guess it's just a problem with the game picking a host connection. But it seems like way too often I'm just getting outplayed by people that I know you know, do not have the gun skill to kill me, yet somehow they kill me. Coming up here in a second, it's going to give you a perfect example of it. I'm sitting here, I'll be sitting there knowing a guy's going to be coming around the corner. I'll sit there with my, you know, sight aimed out, waiting for him to come around the corner. And since this is theater mode, it's not going to show you exactly what happened in the game, but at least what happened on my screen, it's going to show me just, watch, it's just going to show me sitting here waiting for like a second. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but my re reaction time is not that slow. I mean, I haven't playing Call of Duty for a while. My reaction time is not that slow, and somehow that guy outgunned me. But what I, whatever, I'll have to deal with it. Um, my, I know I'm not. I'm gonna speed up the trapper gunner here in a second. I forget when I was recording this in theater mode to speed up, but I'll speed up in a second. But uh, anyways, let me talk about the G11 here a little bit. Um, a lot of people think the G11 is an overpowered or cheap weapon. I honestly don't think it is. I find myself using two to three bursts to kill a guy most of the time. The only problem I have with it is that the M16 is a burst weapon too, and the fire rate seems to me like it's like 10 times slower, so the G11 and the M16 aren't really balanced, but then again, a lot of the weapons in this game don't, don't balance out, so. Let me talk about more what I do on launch a little bit. Um, as I talked about this a little bit in the beginning, as I said, uh, use this side of the map away from the launch, away from the rocket. 
you can get a lot more kills over here. If you go down towards the other side, you know, you can pick up a few kills, but definitely not as many. And a lot of times you find your, yourself in a cat and mouse game chasing each other around over there. So I, I suggest staying over here on this side of the map. Um, once again, use those ladders, climb up the, the ladder parts there, and use the hill there in the middle and the concrete slabs in the middle where the rail car is there. Use that as cover. Basically, you're gonna if you just do what I'm doing here, you, you should do fine. But um, uh, oh, one more thing here, I highly suggest to use the spy plane on launch because the spawns on this map switch like instantly. They constantly are switching back and forth. So without spy plane on, uh, you know you're never gonna know where they're at. So highly suggest to use spy plane. Really help you out a lot. It'll help you be a lot more successful on this map. But uh, anyways, this game's coming on to an end here. So uh, I'm posting this over here on my boy Trex's channel. For all you guys here on Trex's channel, um, you know, please come out and check out my channel. I got some other great commentaries and gameplays for you guys to check out. You know, if you guys like my videos, you know, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I am going to post this on my channel too. So, you know, you guys on my channel, I'm going to post the link for Trex's channel in the description. You know, he's my good friend. You know, please check out his videos. Subscribe if you like them. And uh, also, I made a playlist for the TDM strategy series. So, <coughs> as I put more... Uh, videos up for the TDM strategy series they're going to go in the TDM strategies playlist so if you want to see any of those just go to the playlist and uh hope you enjoyed the gameplay hope you picked up a few tips and see ya